Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Skyrim. We are here in the Soul Cavern where we are told to go to. And um yeah, let's talk to these people. This is where um a lot of people where they died, they came in the Soul Cavern. This is no place for you. And as you can tell in the last episode, those from the last episode, we um basically put ourselves in one of these guys, but a little bit different. What a horrible place. These are all people who are basically dead. We're supposedly dead, but we're not, you know? Anyway, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go find her mother. Now, there's going to be enemies here, and what kind of enemies are they? They're bone men, well, they're just like skeletons. You just get a bow on once, and yeah, they're not they're not really much. They will, though, however, give you soul gems, which is pretty decent, if you ask me. Um, sometimes they're empty, sometimes they're going to be full. I highly recommend doing them, just because, well, you'll get um, soul gems for them. Anyway, there you go. What we're, there, she's going to make us do is she's going to make us do these towers. They're a pain and the butt to do some of them at least there what we're basically gonna have to do is we're gonna have to fight these little um i guess you can call them bosses but they're they're not really bosses we're gonna have to fight them and take i don't know but they they have pretty good stuff uh, you guys will see what i mean in a little bit here probably either this episode or next episode i'm probably gonna get you guys next this episode but anyway you can talk to people you pierced my mind i can't stand it yeah, you can tell these people who act like they've gone crazy. Well, they have. They're dead, and obviously, something's going on. They don't like it. They don't feel so calm. Huh, I wonder if they're going to stay like that. And I'm, they might be. Who knows? I sure as hell don't know. I actually don't remember if they stay like that, so... Don't remind me. I think they don't. I think they actually stay mad, but who knows. Anyway, as you hear those lightning strikes, we're getting closer to where we're supposed to go. That natural time. Okay, my 16 seconds, good. Um, and of course my game freezes right when I need it, don't need it not to freeze. And let's see. Is that a bone man? Yeah it is. What's up? What? Oh. Alright, any more? No? Okay. Well, I just had to fire that real quick. Um. Please don't. Oh. oh okay. Good. Wait, let's give this that was too close for comfort. Um, anyway, is there anything in here? Common soul gems? I should really use soul trap more. Actually, why not? I'm gonna use soul trap. Just because I feel like... What was it in? Um, yeah, soul trap. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna use my mace. And, oh my god, that just made like a crap ton of sound. I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna try to get some souls here. Because I have a crap ton of soul gems, so why not? You know? Why not trap your souls in kill them with their souls in them. Anyway, I figured that, I, did, I figured well I could use the bow, but I'm like, well, the bow would be kind of useless, because these are just bone and then nothing more. Anyway, is there anything guarding here? I think there's something in here. As a matter of fact, is there nothing in here? Nothing I don't need to fight? Nothing required that I need to fight? Hello? Mother? Mother! I can't see Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, haven't you? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him, to make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how uh, has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. No, 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 I want to keep her safe. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade, I find it hard to believe your intentions are... Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here for those You scrolls. think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her... The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two elder scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. 
Well, it's dragon. How does she fit in? Solana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana. And why, if Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, in his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I'll never allow that And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? I'll kill him. If you believe that, then you're a bigger... You care nothing for Serana, or our... Whether or not you be... You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to... Serana, this stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Sarah, if you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own past. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you, too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Tarana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are that for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way. With you. Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was... Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the top at their bases. Destroy the keepers that are tending them. One more word. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers. And will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Alright, so we are going to do this right now. We're going to kill these Boneyard Keepers and this should end the episode. So, let's do this. Let's try to get to these guys. Hopefully we can. Now, I just want to point out there is a mission in here where you can save a horse. And what you have to do is you basically got to find its remains. It's not that difficult, but I, if I find it, I mean, I will, I'll do it, but, um, it's basically, if you get it, you'll get a summon, and you can summon him, and I think you can ride him? I might be mistaking, I don't remember quite, I'm not 100% sure on that thing I just said, what I mean by that, but, anyway, um, and there's a bone right there. Oh, I don't have enough magic Well, you know what? Kill. It's super slow, but these things are not the strongest thing. So that's the only thing I like about them. They're not the strongest things. I'm just, I'm just using basically using one hand. And fill. Oh, of course I could use that. Anyway. Here we go. Here we go, 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 go. Here we go. Here we go. What time is it, actually? Let me take the blocker. Alright, so now, this is, my, this is probably the first one we're going to knock out. And I'm basically just going to show you guys this, because I don't want to show all of them, so I'm basically just going to show you guys this one, and then I'm going to do the rest of my own. So this actually probably will be the end of the episode. So once I get to this guy, I got you, I think. Which one would be closer, this guy? I think. This guy, right here. Okay, this guy looks the closest, just by looking at it. I think he's the closest. These are, they're all really well split apart. Okay. 
Oh, this place is kind of creepy. I don't know about you, but I think this place is one of the more creepy places in the game. I gotta freaking get some stamina. I'm sick of not having stamina. Um, do I... Alright, go. Da, 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 da. See, I, I run way faster when I pass the stamina. Anyway, um, where we're supposed to go is... We're almost there, by the way. Those who are wondering, we are almost here. And actually, we are here. So, anyway, what we are supposed to do is we're supposed to kill the main guy. Well, who's he? Where'd you come from? He's this guy. And basically, he's going to have a pretty good weapon. I'm not going to say what, but I would highly recommend using a two-hand sword here, just because he's pretty, pretty tough. I mean, he has strong attacks. Keeper. This is basically what they are. They're just basically called keepers, nothing more. They have pretty good armor. Okay, so Ghost of the Man's Grand Soul Gem. Freaking awesome. But yeah, usually they have, like, um, Dragon Bone stuff. It's nothing too big. Where'd you come from? But anyway, hey. Wait, who's she fighting? Oh, she's just fighting a bone guy. Oh, it's just a bone guy. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can bow him through the um I mean bow. Let me see if I can get you through here. I probably can. Yeah, see I got no through there. Can I take your remains? Oh I can search his remains. Oh nice. Nice. Um so I got some. Anyway, guys, in the next episode, we are gonna be heading back to her. I'm gonna do these by myself, so you, so you guys don't have to watch it. But anyways, we're in the next episode. We're gonna be back talking to her. So in the next episode, where do we get? Okay, see you guys then.